Hey folks, I know y'all been looking for some Harley Davidson videos instead of guitar videos. Anyway, so I got this, uh, you've seen it on the channel. Uh, beside, you know, uh, while I'm thinking about it, you know, uh, subscribe and hit that like button and uh, ring the bell. So, Harley Davidson all or what so a lot of people when they first get into uh riding harleys you know they don't they don't know what to do you know everybody tells you oh use harley davidson oil well this 1989 flhtcu uh, it's a tappet engine. That's what they call it. Uh, it's a Evo. Uh, it's not a twin cam. Uh, ever since I've been having this bike, or ever since I've had this bike, uh, I have been using this right here. <clears throat> this Valvoline VHR1. Um, it's for push rod and flat tappet engines, 20W50. High zinc for extreme wear. Um, so, the guy that works on my motorcycle, he is a, or he does all the big stuff. Uh, he, he used to work for Harley Davidson down here, a uh, well-known dealer. There's only like three well there's a bunch in the state but <clears throat> the, the there's three main ones in in my area so he opened his own shop uh and you know i asked him about that vhr1 long time ago because that's what another friend of mine said to use and the oil was fine never had an issue with it uh runs great and it's got engine protection Okay, so I called him the other day. You know, Harley will tell you, oh, you, you have to have uh, primary oil to uh, go in your primary. Well, my mechanic said that the VHR1 oil is, you know, it's, it's, it's really the, the primary oil, it's oil. It's not transmission fluid. You can tell a difference uh, in the viscosity when, you, when you're putting them in. Um, so, <clears throat> this next go-round, uh, probably in the next week or so, I'm going to do an oil change. And I'm going to put the VHR1 in the primary. And I will put out there, you know, how it does. Uh, as far as I know... That's what was in it when I got the bike. Uh, this, this bike has been through a lot of stuff. <clears throat> uh, it was sitting up uh, in this old dude's garage. It's, it's, he was the only guy that ever owned it. Um, so the tires were dry. I've had the bike for four years now. Tires were dry rotted. Um, the primary cover... Uh, was had a couple of stripped holes in it so the derby cover was warped and one of the screws were uh stripped so when i rode it back from illinois uh man it was blowing oil everywhere um so it's had a new uh stator put in it did that myself um those are kind of scary but once you uh, once you do one, they're, you know, it's fine. Uh, anybody got any questions on that, send me a, a message and I'll be more than glad to help you. Um, so the cover got replaced, the entire cover, that was about $150, yeah. And then I redid the derby cover, sealed up all the leaks, that was fine. Uh, not had a trouble not had any trouble with it charging at all 
a lot of stuff. It's 89, it's 35 years old. Uh, it gets me to and from uh, wherever I want to go. Uh, I love this old Harley. Um, you know, a lot of people got all these new bikes. Well, uh, one, I cannot really afford to, you know, buy a new bike. And two, I can't really, uh, I, lo I love Harley Davidson, but I cannot pay $20,000 and up for a new bike. And I'm not riding a sporty, <clears throat> been there, done that. Uh, it's rough on the body, uh, especially if you're doing long trips. I've done long trips on a sporty. Uh, mm, not for me. So, this is a great, great bike. Love it. Um, so, next week, if, if you got an old bike like this and you don't know how to change the oil, the oil filter, crazy enough, is underneath the motorcycle behind the front wheel. Um, so we'll, we'll get into that when I do the oil change. And also it's got an oil tank. Uh, there's not a drain, there's not like a drain plug like on the newer bikes where you just drain it. So th there's some issues with a, a, uh, oil tank bike. Um, one, if you don't get most of the oil out. You can't just dump oil back in that tank. Um, you can overfill it and then, then you got issues. But normally what I do, there's, there's, a, uh, there's a plug on the side of the tank. Uh, you pull that plug, and I'll get, I'll get into all this, but this is just stuff about the change itself. Um, so you pull that plug, you drain the oil, uh, you have the bike sitting upright on a, on a stand because the oil tank is on the, on the, on the left, uh, so it's leaning the wrong way. Alright, so once you get all your oil out, or you think you got all your oil out, let it drain, put the plug back in, crank the motor, let it run for just a minute, you know, not very long enough for that oil pump to pump some oil back into the tank. Get that oil out. Get as much oil out as you can. Uh, once you change your filter, <clears throat> put your plug back in, uh, start with two quarts. Put two quarts of oil in, uh, crank it, let it run for a minute, check the oil. Um, so now, uh, you know, if, if you're still a quart low, because there's going to be there's going to be oil you can't get out of the motor. Uh, if you're low, add some more oil to it. Um, let it run. Check it again. You you don't want to overfill it. Uh, you don't want to fill try to fill it up. To you know say oh you know it takes four quarts. I'll just pour four quarts oil in there. With a uh, sump engine. Uh, with an oil tank, you cannot do that. So, <clears throat> just uh, we'll go through it, and because next week I'm gonna do an oil change, and uh, like I said, uh, I'm sure that'll be interesting. You know, when I when I first, it's it's got this funky looking plug on it. You know, some some of the bikes had <clears throat> just a regular. 5 8 plug in the side of it but others had this uh plug that it looked like it had some kind of attachment on it and uh, i had trouble figuring out what to do with that nobody knew nobody could tell me uh so finally when i looked at it, you know I, I got my mechanic to look at it and he said you know hey just put a socket on that thing and unscrew it and it'll be fine so we broke it loose, drained the oil, got everything doing. Uh, so yeah, that's what we got. And next week I'll go through it. And uh, if any of you guys have an older bike, 
uh, or older Harley FLHTCU uh, bagger type bike. Uh, might be interesting, might not. You might already know. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, this, my iPhone won't flip over. Your oil tank is right here. Um, so you're looking, you're looking at the bike on the breather side with the carburetor. The uh, saddle bag has to come off. This cover has to come off. Then you got to the oil tank, and then you can start your uh, your oil change. But anyway, uh, I like I like doing stuff like that, working on my own bike. Uh, the VHR this it's about probably thirty five dollars for one of these plus <clears throat> plus your uh, your oil filter. I don't use a Harley oil filter. Um, I use a aftermarket. Um, also, I was going to tell you when you're you know because because when you buy four quarts of oil, eight nine dollars a piece, then you buy a different oil for the primary. You're you're basically you could have done an oil change with this one uh, this one gallon. Uh, thing here <clears throat> this is enough to do one oil change and do your primary um, so with that I'm gonna get off here and I hope you guys like this video I hope it was informative um, you know a lot, a lot of this stuff on these older bikes you know the mechanics out there you know they work on these new bikes they they don't you know you drive this into a harley shop and they just you know unless they've been working on the old ones they, they don't want to touch them uh, and i was fortunate to find a guy that uh, can work on older bikes but anyway love y'all peace out treat you treat each other well and uh Protect yourself. Uh, bye.